Hi, this is Jeff Walters with JJWDesign.com. Here today with the JJW Design Google Maps package for Sugar CRM. And I'm running 6.5.14 Community Edition version of Sugar CRM. I've just logged in. And today I wanted to kind of go over some of the map areas because I think this is a really powerful section of this package that a lot of people I don't think know is available. And I don't think they understand the capabilities and the power of the Google Maps areas and the areas are basically polygon shapes um, if you look at examples such as Alabama here Alabama is basically made up of a bunch of coordinate points uh, these are uh, basically longitude latitude elevation values uh, space separated with comma separated values um, and this is uh, you know a fairly easy thing to define um, this was just an estimate of the data of of Alabama. Um, all the U.S. states I have uh, available for import, I've basically imported them into this version already. And areas really are, are quite powerful. If you edit the area, go into the editor here, you can notice now I've got this nice editor view. I can actually use the little hand here to zoom in, move the map around, take a look at these coordinate points uh, there I have a little bit of a of an issue here and then I can actually you know move these points around and adjust things um, what's really powerful is you can actually add points through the editor here uh, this is using some of the uh, Google Maps tools the dynamic tools that they have available and I can actually add points in in between here I can select a point move it and it will create another point and have another point and you know as you you're working with the maps you can adjust things to more specific locations if you need to make some adjustments and again these are just estimates but it's really powerful to see how well this works um, with you know most of the mapping where you need uh, things to be uh, either driven by uh, you know locations such as a sales location um, you can zoom way in for very very fine level detail uh, to make sure you have your maps very well tuned you can go pretty much all the way in um, <coughs> and most of the time you're not going to need that level of, uh, of clarity but in other cases maybe you will you know as long as your your map areas typically overlay one another and not have any missing points um, you won't have any issues occasionally you know you notice a lot of states that have map areas which are defined by territorial boundaries that are that are typically on either lakes or rivers or you know some other boundary type like that where they typically will not be homes on those map boundaries so it's it's very very flexible and easy to create these these map areas um, if you do need to remove a point, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, you can right click on the points and it will actually remove the map points. And then you can readjust things uh, as you see fit. You know, And it gets a little addictive, I must admit. There's, there's something very just kind of learning about yeah, sitting here and playing around with the points. You know, making how, how much detail level you really want to do with it. You know how much clarity of these map marker points do you need? You know who really knows. Um, you know that's all dependent on your project and and how much detail you want to go into. Once you have these map points drawn out and and you've made adjustments um, to your your map area, you want to make sure you save that map area. And t what's typically on the right hand side here is a couple of buttons that say you know use coordinates this will pull the coordinates from this polygon shape and apply these coordinates into your coordinates section above here so the coordinates will be copied automatically into here as you click on that use coordinates button I can't get all the stuff in the same view typically this is on the right hand side of the map once you have those coordinates in there and you you're you're satisfied with these mapping points then click save and that will save the data 
they'll save the mapping coordinates. Now what's really impressive is is when you're working with these areas now you can also write custom functionality to uh, you know, do things like assign leads by map area so for example if you have um, you know a bunch of um, locations and you want to assign you know, certain leads to certain users you can define these map areas but then also you know assign the map area to a user such as Jim Brennan and then as leads come in as leads get saved um, you can see that we can look at for example uh, let me see if I can pull up the testing lead that I had earlier um, testing testing was a lead that came in and I wrote a logic hook it's one of the add-ons that's available on the website on jjwdesign.com you can write your own custom logic hooks if you like um, you know more power to you there's um, basic Orlando information here so this Florida as the record is entered into the system a custom logic hook can be fired off uh, in this particular case it fired off and then it looked at the geographical region that the or map area that this lead was in and the first map area that it found it looked at the assigned to user for that map area and then use that to assign this lead to Jim Brennan because that's his particular area. It didn't do it based on on state. I know there's a simpler way, you know, just based on the state field, but this is a, an example of testing functionality where the address, the geocoding address used, you know, produced a longitude latitude that particular point location was within Florida's map area and then from there the map area was assigned to Jim Brennan so therefore the lead will be assigned to Jim Brennan. It's a very powerful functionality. There's also things that you can do with uh, relating certain records um, to the map areas or you know relating um, for example relating leads to map areas so then they can be uh, searched for by map area and then add it to target lists. So there's a lot of functionality, a lot of, a lot of exploratory kind of features that really haven't been used very often. I'm just beginning to work with clients to try to develop some functionality to automate a lot of these processes based on the map areas. And I think it's a really powerful addition to your typical workflows that your business might have. So if you're inter interested in that, feel free to contact me over at jjwdesign.com. Again, I have lots of uh, add-ons that I'm starting to try to package up and place on the website. It'll be available for download. And uh, if there's anything, uh, any ideas that you have, uh, you know, wild or not, feel free to send me a message. Thank you.